fake news affect the elections in Brazil. And uh, we did this partnership because they were they was they uh, gave a million uh, reais to Brazil to work on this research, Facebook, and we started to to know uh, a lot of cases uh, of uh, Brazilian uh, startups that works they work in the internet because we always talk about the the deep web or the, the things that are wrong in the web. Uh, but there are some good people doing great things, some activists, some ONGs work in NGOs, works with the, they work together to increase democracy in Brazil. So that, those are one of the best cases that we brought to Brazil, that we, we found in the research. And we're going to talk specifically about the operation that called Serenata de Amor. What's Serenata de Amor? Serenata de Amor is a chocolate in Brazil. Uh, it's a chocolate based on the, on the poetry. And uh, why is Serenata de Amor? Because we have one hard case in uh, Swiss, Swiss, uh, uh, Sweden that called the Toblerone Affair. I don't know if I, I think you're familiar because of the Congress woman that uh, she, she said that her budget went all in Toblerone chocolate and was this amazing so that people said it couldn't be possible to eat that many chocolates and she, she has to step down uh, in Brazil we started to work with this startup that they are doing this, this job and they, they work with this question uh, how could law combine with technology to fight the corruption in Brazil and uh, that's what we are talking about here the agenda is uh, we are going to uh, make statistics related to one of the Brazilian connected to the internet and the relation that we have between social media and communication in Brazil. Uh, we, must, uh, we did this state case, uh, case study of Rosie Serenat. Rosie is a robot and uh, works with artificial intelligence in Brazil, but it was built for Brazilian, uh, Brazilian uh, new. Uh, researchers there on the intelligence or artificial intelligence. We, we, we work at the, the Oberdau six uh, uh, institutions for democracy and how, how well connected is Brazil? We were saying, how do you think, how well do you think Brazil is connected to the internet? We, we were talking about the exclusion that Brazilian had a few years ago. Uh, in 2014, only 40% uh, of the Brazilian homes had internet. But 2017, in the last uh, uh, research that they did, 70% of Brazilian homes had internet. Uh, so, we have changed regarding the communication in Brazil. Uh, and now that we have those changes, users may exercise their freedom of speech and their, uh, the rights to inform and be informed about this and, and others. Brazil is the, the fourth country in connection of the global net. The first one is China, second is India, third is the United States, uh, fourth Brazil, and uh, we uh, it's because of a huge population there. It's the fourth country. Well, we are connected. But well, how do we relate it to technology in Brazil? Uh, how do we work? How well are we connected in this room? Do you know this website? How much websites do you know from here? Two? Two. 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 Three. 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 This 
was the 50 most uh, accessed sites in the last 10 years. You know how it changes. Uh, in 2007, uh, the most uh, uh, what is uh, the most uh, accessed site uh, in the whole uh, United States and world was um, Yahoo. The second, uh, uh, Facebook was at the 21st uh, position. 2010, three years after, uh, the Google was at the first place, and Facebook was the second, Yahoo was the third. And today, uh, the most access site in the whole world is Google, followed by YouTube, third is Facebook, and fourth is Baidu. You know Baidu? Baidu is Google from China. Uh, so that's why the first, uh, the fourth, uh, Kiki, uh, Kiki uh, uh, is the messenger of China. That's why it's the same. Timo and Taobao are two most uh, sized from sales in China. That's why they're so huge. So that's the way the world connect. That was the, the most. Um, Downloaded uh, from um, Android and uh, Apple Store, the most downloaded apps in the whole world. Do you recognize by yourself some of them? And that's are the most profit. Uh, What I was saying is, uh, Microsoft is this Norse research. It's going to vanish. 
uh, we, we were comfortable with this idea. A few years later, the same image with Pope uh, Francis, the, the memory, uh, people are not comfortable that the memory would vanish. They wanted to have the memory uh, in a cloud, accessible for the whole life. The same idea, the same place, how we change for this image. And I rest my case with the Hillary Clinton campaign uh, 2016. Nobody was looking at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're actually, you, you have to not, uh, you have to work uh, with the, um, you have to have the, the memory forever and you have to be a part of the, your memory. That's, that's, the, that's the spirit. You have to be a part. Because if you are not a part, it's not a memory. <laughs> so they are working the, the selfie uh, on the campaign. Uh, that's changed the way that the clouds work about the communication. Now uh, we are facing a, a call that we call the, the new aura. aura. The, the communication is too dispersed. You don't know where it came from. And you don't, you, don't have, you don't have any control of your communication anymore. First, uh, we have this, this, the, the communication, we know where it is. That was, that's why the robots are working. That's why we are working in the, the election period. We are doing it. So how do we combine technology and facial media to fight against the corruption in Brazil? No problem. This, this uh, case of study, Rosie, uh, uh, Serenata de Amor. Um, Rosie uh, start, is a robot that uh, the startup made that she, she started to look about the budget, about the Congress, to look if there is anything on the on the prestação de contas, né, on the contability that they made with the, if it's anything wrong that they spend the man, the money on. Because in Brazil, in a few years ago, they put uh, some uh, stuff that they put in, they print the stuff that they had spent and they received the money back, the Congress. Now, uh, with Rosie, she sees all the things that the money was spent on it. And if, if there is something wrong, she puts it on Twitter. And uh, a re repository in Brazil called Jabas is another place that the information can be accessible to all the citizenship in Brazil. And the citizens look at the, the wrong information and say, oh my god, the guy spent too much in food, the guy spending too much uh, money on gas, how can it be possible? And the, she put it on Twitter and she said, well, citizenship, Brazilian citizenship, help me, citizens. Help me. What do you think about uh, this uh, bill, about the restaurant, about the, the congressman? And the Brazilian people said, oh my God, it's, too, it's a huge amount of the money, it, it's not possible to eat that much in a restaurant. And Rosie uh, just put up the information uh, and Brazilian ship. And the guy, the congressman, uh, put the bill to say, oh my god, I, I have the bill that I uh, spent. And they start to discuss it on Twitter. What Rosie discovered is that uh, Congressman had 13 lunches in the same day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, uh, other had nine kilos. Nine kilos is how much? Pounds. Twenty, 20 pounds. pounds. Twenty pounds <laughs> of food in the same lunch. <laughs> and the other one had simultaneous lunches in five 
different cities. You're very talented politician. Yes. <laughs> How can a guy have a fish five lunches in, in five different cities at the same time? That's what grows in power. It's metaphysics, it's not politics. I think he was, he was one of the Avengers, I think. <laughs> Uh, and uh, this resulted in 8,276 uh, suspicious uh, cases and 70, uh, 735 uh, different Congress people involved in the issue of public money. Uh, how 3 million, 3.6 million reais, like uh, 1 million dollars, that they have to give back to people. To, to, uh, that's, that's the case that we have been. This is uh, the one that I, I wanted to show. This is our research that we are doing in Brazil uh, and to increase citizenship because we work together fighting corruption uh, with the social media against uh, this uh, mystery of mine. Thank you so much. That's what How many Congress people are there? Uh, like 500. 400. 500. 500. 500. Can you go one side back? Yes. It's yes, because people can be uh, put in two or three cases uh, of okay. mis. So these are not different Congress people? No. no. Sometimes the same. Sometimes the same. I understand. Okay. Thank you so much.